Had me zip the zipper. Hold on. Let me zip the zipper. <laughs> and then show you. Hey you guys, the doc is so here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am in my hallway. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I have made thus far this entire year of 2023. All of my makes from January to today. And I'm so excited about showing you guys how I have styled everything and um, just can't wait to share with you guys my makes. Some of most of them you've seen, um, except for maybe a few, but I just like to every now and then come together and show like the whole spectrum of everything that I've made. So this is one of those days. You guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys, so here we go. Without further ado, let's get into this makes try on haul. All right, you guys, so the first pattern or make that I'm going to share with you is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, this is McCall 7868. If you remember this fun blouse, I sewed up you be here, and this is what it looks like. So that's the pattern and i'm gonna step back well i'll show you guys up close first so this is the top i paired it with just some regular jeans today um, you see the really cute sleeve cuffs and buttons and the back a little longer to give you a little bit of coverage in the back um, but this is the top absolutely love 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 how this blouse turned out I love a blouse that has a bow in the front for that added volume and extra pizzazz. So I was so excited when I found this pattern, when I found this fabric, and then when I actually sewed it up and got the final results. And I think if I remember correctly, I got this fabric at Fine Fabrics here in Atlanta. So if you're ever in the Atlanta area, definitely go visit Fine Fabrics. They have a really good selection. This is, was a rayon that I picked up and I absolutely love this fabric. So again, here is my top. All right, y'all, so next up I have Simplicity 8554. Um, this is actually my most recent make. I shared with you guys the pattern review and everything for this. This jacket, like a lightweight trench coat that I made out of a sage linen blend. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Up close, up close. I paired it with those same jeans because if it's not broke, why well, fix it? And I put it with like a little bandeau top. So you can see the lapels here, the back with the tie and then the two side leg slits so i'll move back so you guys can see the full jacket absolutely love how this jacket turned out it's so lightweight it's still a little chilly here in atlanta um it's actually raining today and it's actually cold it's um 55 degrees so we're in spring but it's still a little chilly so i can definitely get some wear out of this jacket before it gets too hot here so this is what it looks like. I can belt it, you guys. Let me come up a little bit. And again, I rolled up my sleeves just because it makes it a little more casual and modern. So I absolutely love, love, love how this trench coat turned out. This is actually my first trench. Um, so I can't wait to make many, many more. All right, y'all, so the next pattern I'm gonna share with you, my next make, is the No Me by Mimi G, pattern by Brittany J. Jones. Uh, this two-piece crop top and skirt that I sewed up um, kind of toward the beginning of spring, and I'm wearing it now. Um, I sewed it up in this really nice periwinkle uh, ponty knit. Um, so this is like a fully lined, if I can show you, 
fully lined uh, top, crop top. The skirt is unlined, but the top is lined. And it's a short sleeve. I'll show you guys the detail. It's got a bottom band. Um, this is the back of it. And of course you have your waistband and button detail down the side, which this is what I absolutely love. I thought these buttons made a really nice contrast against this periwinkle fabric. Um, the bottom there is actually a side slit that's left open. So let me stand back and show you guys the full look of that. And so you guys, I absolutely loved this pattern when I first saw it come out for early spring. I loved it when I bought it <laughs> and I love it after it's made up. Super, super cute in my opinion. Um, the fabric I feel like is right on time for spring. This nice periwinkle blue color. Um, it's very vibrant and I just absolutely love it. It's super comfortable. I feel like I could wear it out on a nice spring day and you know not have any issues um so i really really like how this one turned out and how comfortable it is all right y'all so next up is the simplicity mimi g pattern s9370 um i love this dress still do this dress right here i made the short sleeve version with this really cute cutout detail and tie here. So I will show you guys um, how that looks. This is the bottom. Here's the tie on the side. And I love how this kind of like cinches you in. So if you're a little concerned about your midsection, uh, this is like a nice little sheath covering. And if you sew it in a print, there's even like a little camouflage going on there. Uh, so this is the side cutout, which I absolutely love. I just thought that was really, really cute. Um, and like right on trend for spring. I chose this floral print fabric. I got this from Fine Fabric. The previous Periwinkle Ponty I also got from Fine Fabrics and this so they really have a lot of cute stuff you guys this was this is a um polyester spandex so a nice poly span this dress is kind of like a midi length it's a little flowy at the bottom so it's not it's not exactly pegged but i do like the shape of the dress overall and i just love 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 how this turned out i feel like this is like date night territory um, so this is my dress, uh -huh. love, love, love. Oh, and I, I showed you guys this before, but ooh, hadn't even zipped the zipper. Hold on. Let me zip the zipper <laughs> and then show you. There we go. Okay. One thing I thought was really, really cute and cool about this dress is the zipper. So it's a side zipper right here let's see if you can see it right here this is the zipper so it's off center like right there on the back shoulder but it's not too visible i thought that was a really really cute um really really cute feature to this dress as well all right y'all so this is one of my favorite makes of all time um this is mccall's 8119 this jumpsuit love 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 um i sewed up these c here with the belt the ruche sleeves and the long pants so even though these pants were long you guys um they are still kind of ankle length on her and i'm tall i'm five nine so i actually if you remember lengthened these pants by a whole four and a half inches and I love the result that I got. It's a full length pant suit. And yeah, here we go. So this is the top, sleeves here. This is my belt in front. And I chose this really nice like um, iron colored 
hardware for my belt, which I love. This has pockets. Love, love, love. And a zipper. As you can see. So for this make, uh, when I saw the pattern view C, I immediately knew that I wanted a tweed fabric because to me it just had this like a little luxurious um, high-end look and feel to it. So I wanted to do it justice with some fabric that I thought was luxurious and high-end and also warm because this is like a fall type of fall and winter type of jumpsuit. So this tweed fabric did not miss. It checked every single one of those boxes that I was looking for and it sewed up really nicely. It was a little messy at times just because, you know, it does have the tendency to unravel here and there, but overall it sewed up really, really nicely uh, with my machine. So I hope you guys can see the bottom of the pants to see how long they are. Love, love, love the length of those. Um, I can wear it with a boot or a heel. Um, and I just really like, so it's like a wide leg pant. So very happy with this jumpsuit. One of my most favorite things ever. And it feels so good. The fit on it is just phenomenal. Like, look at the fit on that. So very excited, very happy about this. All right, y'all, so next I have my Valentine's Day dress make. Uh, this is Vogue 1674. I sewed up view B here with the one shoulder. And I love, 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 love this dress. Um, I had been waiting for a good time to make it. I thought about making it for Christmas, but time got away from me, so I was like, I already bought the fabric, it's red. What else can I use it for? And Valentine's Day was right around the corner. So, I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay, let me get myself stood up, y'all. I'm on my knees. So, the detailing. This shoulder, one shoulder cut for me was just everything that I needed to see. Um, this is the back, same cutout course it's got a skirt this um, dress is fully lined so it took you know a little bit of extra time but the final product I think is well worth it so here is the full dress and I absolutely love it's like a right below but right below the knee cut um, but I just think it's so elegant and so classy. So here's my dress. I'll move my hair so you can see that full shoulder cut out. So I would actually make this again. Um, I think I would make it in a print this time just because y'all know how much I love prints. And I think it would be super, super cute in a really nice print. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But I absolutely love this dress. I think it's like the perfect special occasion dress for really any season. Another one of the features that I really, really liked about this dress is that it actually has a side zipper. So, from literally your underarm all the way to right about here there's a zipper I don't know if you guys can see that on the side so you know if you're wondering like how do you get into the dress you don't have to just pull it over your head or pull it up from the bottom there's a nice little zipper here that gives you some extra moving room to get out and I think Vogue was so smart for putting that zipper in on the side to make it a lot more um, accessible so love that all right y'all so the last make that i'm going to share with you is my malika skirt from vicky sews um i fell in love with this skirt as soon as i saw it because of the front slit what can i say 
um, it was, you know, a little interesting to sew up just because it took a little bit of time um, because of all the intricate details, but the final um, result to me was really, really nice. And I just love this skirt. I feel like it's such a statement. So here we go. I just paired it with this nice black scoop top and tucked it in so you could see the full detail of the skirt because to me this is the best part, the whole skirt. So you have this waistband here, the slit that comes up to, I mean, <laughs> it looks high but it's really not too high because, you know, this is like a pair of shorts high if you really look at it that way. Um, I do... You know, you have your button in the back and you have your zipper as well. And I just really, really love this skirt, you guys. I think it's such a statement piece in your wardrobe. So, for my fabric, I chose this faux leather, faux croc fabric that I got, again, at Fine Fabrics here in Atlanta. I keep forgetting to tell you guys, the tweed that I got that I had on my last jumpsuit that I showed you is also from Fine Fabric. So I think pretty much everything that I've shown you except for that trench, which was from Joanne, that um, linen blend, everything else was from Fine Fabric. So <laughs> um, yeah, I really, really think this is a cute skirt. I think I would wear it with a pair of heels um, just to even further accentuate that side front split there um, but I really like this this was my first time sewing with faux leather faux crop and I would definitely do it again because it was a great experience and I just love like that tailored look of of that fabric so um, this skirt is actually fully lined let me come up closer so I can show that to you guys fully lined I did choose like this olive green lining fabric because I thought it was a nice contrast to the darker like crocodile gra crocodile green um, and here you know you can just see the stitching so all of this is hand stitched this whole slit was hand stitched so that part took a lot of time but again the end result is all that matters right so um, Love, love, love this skirt. Can't wait to put it into rotation. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for my makes try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoyed making it for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you later.